if you are watching this video chances are you are a sql server dba and you might have faced a situation when one of the sql service is down or some particular database is not online whenever a sql server box is rebooted scheduled or unexpected we are supposed to do what we call as sql server health check or sanity check we connect to the server we make sure all the services are online and all the databases are online sometimes though the services are in automatic startup mode but they do not come online what if we can do the same crucial but kind of boring task using a script so that we don't have to waste our time on weekend logging on to say 20 servers and doing the same repetitive task this is my sql server box i have installed two instances made a couple of databases before testing this uh, health check script i want to create some situation what i'm trying to do is I'll change the service account of a service to something that does not have log on as a service access so that after the reboot the service will fail to start. I'll also rename a data file of a database so that it does not come online. We should always deal with the services using SQL Server Config Manager and not from services WMI. There are a couple of reasons. One, let me quickly show you. If I try to change the service account of this service, say browser, to something called as guest. This computer is not connected to domain so only local users are there if i click apply yes it says invalid parameter now let me try to do the same thing from services wmi if i click apply okay so it has allowed us though it has not come into the effect but it has allowed us in contrast the config manager predicted that situation and it did not allow so that's one of the reason why we should always deal with the sql server services from configuration manager okay so we have changed the service account to something and i have specifically made sure that this guest account does not have logon as a service permission i'll also try to change the name of a data file of this database to summarize this situation we have changed service account of a service to something that does not have logon as a service rights and also we renamed data file of a database so that it does not come online now at 6 31 a.m in the morning and i am rebooting this box let me select something say hardware maintenance unplanned and let's see what our script tells us about this at 6 32 i have got an email that says sanity check failed on server and then server name let's see what it says it says server has come online following is the last reboot information the time when the reboot was initiated and the name of the person who did that this is a local server so we did not get the name if it was connected to a domain we would get the actual name of the user then it says all the sql services have been started and running fine except below services that is the sql server browser service and why it did not start because of a logon failure then it also says something about the above error if the information in service start failure message is not sufficient please check the sql server error log files we have error log files for db engine ssrs ssis we can check that to troubleshoot if the service is not starting then it says all the databases are up and running on sql server instance instance name and then below databases are not online on sql server instance the database is in recovery pending state and based on this state it also shows a small description this state indicates that the database files are not found on the file system because we renamed it. So let's go back to the server and see how we got this information. So here we are back to our SQL server. So I have created a scheduled task that runs every time whenever the system is started. And then what it does, it executes a PowerShell script located at this location. Let's take a look at the script. So this is the script. I'll discuss in short few aspects of it. First, there are mail server settings. I am using Gmail that requires authentication and I am creating the credential for authentication using an encrypted file that I already created earlier by inputting my credential in a secure way from PowerShell console. Then we load an assembly. We create an SMO. Now, the first thing whenever the server is started, first thing I want to do is I want to check if any DB engine service is in automatic mode and not starting. And if that is the case, it should start for each of that service. Next, if you go down, it will check for the rest of the service and start them. 
then it fetches the last reboot information from the event viewer after that it checks if there is some service that is still not running it tries to start that after some gap if it doesn't it just fetches the information from the event viewer why that service was not started i have also created some flags to keep check if i should consider the sanity check as success or failure if any of the service is down it will be marked as failure if any of the databases in particular state it will also be marked as failure if the database size is huge or before the restart if there was some large portion of uncommitted transaction the database takes some time to recover at that time it shows the state as recovering i've tried to cover that situation in this portion it waits for the database to come online and replies if the databases are back into online or not and then sends us the information regarding the sanity check i've also incorporated basic error handling say because of the powershell version or if there is some syntax error in the script we will be notified i am also logging every time whenever this script is running so let's make everything normal and i want to see how does the successful notification reads so i'll make this database online we can set it at emergency detach and reattach but for now i'm just stopping the instance and renaming the file back i'm also changing the service account back to local service okay so now we are good all the databases services are up and running and on all the databases are online if i rerun this task that will simulate the event of sanity check and we should get an email after 6:43 saying that everything is up and running fine let's see if we get at 6:43 we got an email that says sanity check completed with success on server it gets us the last reboot information then it says all the sql services have been started and running fine all the databases are up and running fine on this instance and another one in our current environment we have few databases in offline mode so this script will simply ignore that and consider it as a successful sanity check now let me show you how i can change that if i bring this database offline and i do a sanity check at 646 though this database is offline it will still say that sanity check got completed successfully now if i want to change that i want if any of the database is offline it should mark sanity check as failure to do that i'll simply mark this flag as 0 the default value of this flag is 1 so at 648 i'm rerunning the sanity check so as we can see first mail we got that it, it got completed and second it says failed let's check the success one it shows the database was offline but still the sanity check was completed with success similarly in the next one when we change the flag the database was still offline but now it has marked it as a failure so that is all about this script it runs every time whenever a server is rebooted we can also run it every time in the morning to do a health check and we can also put all this information into a central table and based on that we can create a dashboard we can also make the similar health check for all of the rest of the service say for servers that are not sql server if i get enough response on this video in the next one i'll show in detail all the steps of this script and also how you can implement into your environment if you find this video helpful please hit the like button i have also some other script that you may find helpful and if you want to know about that please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one